Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is regarding those who have qualified CSIR JRF and who want to get their award letter, okay, CSIR award letter. So this is for them, okay. So in case if you have given this exam, so you should watch this video that what you have to do next. Uh, so first of all, you have to come to this website, which is CSIR HRDG website, okay. Just search CSIR HRDG on Google and you will get the first link of it. You have to click on this link and you will be taken to this page. Remember, there are two CSIR website. One is CSIR NTA website. One is CSIR HRDG. You have to come to CSIR HRDG website, not CSIR NTA website. Okay. So once you open this website, you have to come a little down over here in the news and announcement section. Here it says notice to upload documents for joint CSIR UGC net December 2022 uh, June 2023 exam. So this is the notice which is given to you. Now you have to click on this particular link and you will be taken to a particular like you will be able to download a particular PDF like this. It is in Hindi and English both. It depends upon in which language you are more comfortable with and in which language you are able to understand much better. I will be discussing in English itself, but I will be trying to explain you everything. So what this says, it says qualified candidates whose roll numbers are listed in part one first means the first section of part one and second section of part one and third section of part one of result views are CSIR JRF only or LS and uh, like uh, JRF only. So basically the, this particular notice is only for those who have qualified as CSIR JRF, not for UGC JRF. Okay. So I'll explain that from the result also. So wait for that. So they are requested to send self attested copies of the following documents. Now these are 10 documents which you have to send. First one is copy of mark sheet, which is a scorecard. Okay. So what is scorecard you have got, which contains your rank and result. You have to give that particular one. So take a print of that, get it self attested. Self attested means you have to make your own sign and write down self attested. Okay. S E L F A double T E S T E D and then sign, make a, make your sign. Okay. So that is how we do self attested. Then the next document is 10th class mark sheet. Okay. 10th class certificate. Sorry. So if you don't have 10th class certificate, you can also give 10th class mark sheet. Okay. So that will be used as a proof of date of birth. Third is your uh, degree or provisional certificate. If you have qualified masters in that case, you must be having a degree or provisional certificate. You have to give that. Or in case, if you have not qualified masters, you are still in your masters. In that case, you have to submit a provisional certificate, right? You, uh, you might have done that while giving the exam, like while you were giving the uh, CSIR exam. Before that, you must have got a, a form signed by your uh, uh, head of department, right? So that you can give. Final mark sheet with, with required percentage of marks. So this is your MSc mark sheet, okay? Then uh, CGPA, SGPA, etc. conversion formula. If you have got marks in CGPA, then there must be some formula to convert that. If that is there in, in, your, in your university and if that is a separate document, apply that uh, like uh, upload that, that also. Beautification of marks uh, in case of dual degree. So in case if you have got dual degrees, that means if you are BSMS or uh, integrated masters in that case, there should be a beautification of marks or period in that case. Okay. If you belong to a particular category, then caste certificate is uh, up, like you need to uh, give that in case if you are from an open category, in that case, you don't have to upload this. Then latest OBC certificate for non creamy layer up according to the format, which is there in the NCBC website. Okay. So from there, you can see that which certificate they're asking for basically central government, uh, like uh, central government uh, format of this uh, OBC certificate. Then in case if you are PWD candidate, then the Vyang certificate should be uh, uploaded. EWS category certificate in case if you have filled under that. Okay. Now there are some important point which let's talk about. So candidate who have appeared under result awaited category who are in masters equivalent and those who are uh, like not qualified masters yet, you have to wait. Okay. As, as it says, it says that those who have qualified or those who have applied under result awaited category MSc or equivalent should submit the required documents only after completion of their requisite qualification. So once you qualify masters, then you can upload all these documents. Okay. Then after qualifying, you have to send all this document to the, uh, to the, uh, like the, to the email address, which is mentioned. So where you have to send, this is the email address at which you have to send certificate at the rate csirhrd.res.in. The qualified candidates whose documents upon checking are found to be in order can download their e-certificate from this website. The website is e-certificate.nta.ac.in. So once your certificate will be verified, you will get that within two weeks, uh, right? Within 15 days, you get your documents. 
uh, with the, uh, your award letter so all qualified candidates who roll number are listed in part 2 that means who are UGC JRF and part 3 who are just UGC LS or uh, of the result may contact UGC slash NTF or e-certificate. So that takes around one more week from CSIR to upload their uh, like uh, certificates and uh, award letters. I'll inform you about that also but still it has not been uploaded. E-certificates will be issued based on information available on the online application form and candidates are advised not to send requests for any sort of correction in the e-certificate. Okay? And then it is given please go through the bulletin of the joint CSNet exam before sending documents through email. Right? So I have an older result of June 2022 exam. I just want to show you that what section they are actually talking about. So in the result there is this first section which says a JRF net CSIR. Okay? So these are CSIR JRF people and this is section one of that okay so these are the candidates whose roll number are listed below are qualified in the test of JRF net and these candidates are also eligible for lecturership uh, that is net but that means the person is qualified JRF and net both okay and uh, yeah that is by CSIR okay if you scroll down a little bit there is section two also of this uh, yeah so here is section two of this it says that the candidates whose roll number are listed below have qualified in the test of fellowship that is JRF only. Okay, So these are not net qualified, they are just JRF qualified as per clause 2.1.1 of our notification and there will be the roll numbers. So this notice is actually talking about or this, this whole document sending thing which is being announced by CSR is talking about these people only. In the latest result there must be one uh, part third section also of first. So I am quite aware about that and just just scroll down a little bit so these are second section these are UGC JRF okay so for these those whose roll number is in this or the below section which is section number three which is just LS or lecturers uh, lecturership section those have those don't have to send these uh, document okay so this is third section lecturership or net qualified so they don't have to send as it is mentioned right that uh, uh, yeah so qualified candidates whose roll number is listed in part 2 and part 3 of the result may contact UGC NTA not like this okay so they don't have to send so this document these documents which are mentioned over here in this notice are only to be sent by those whose roll number is in part 1 of the result you have to send the documents to this particular email address and self attested copy of all these documents whatever is applicable to you in case if you are in result awaited category wait for your final degree to be completed and after that you have to send all these documents okay so that's all for this video i hope you understood if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment section below that's all from my side see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care